You want to go fix your hair? Come on. Let's go fix your hair. <laughs> I've done Dutch braids, French braids, bubble braids, dragon braids, space buns, concert hairstyles, and I've done heatless curls. And the curls actually came out. I have a lot of bows and little clips of like flowers or butterflies and it just like adds the perfect touch. When I first got Milo, I noticed that maybe around like six months, his hair was kind of getting long. I didn't know how to groom him, so he just looked like he had a big hump. And then it would grow a little bit and it would get spiky like a little rocker. <laughs> it just kept growing and growing and it never stopped. Milo wakes up with the craziest bed head. It would just block his eyes and stuff. One day, I just decided to do a hairstyle on it and it looked nice. <laughs> I start getting ready like on my own and then he'll be just looking at me wiggling his tail and then just start trying to jump on the counter. You ready to do your hair? Once I put him there he just sits there and looks at me like I'm ready. The way that I can tell that he enjoys it is a lot of time he'll fall asleep when I'm brushing. I'm like okay I'm done and he's still late there and I'm like you can go now. He just looks at me like why are you done? To keep Milo's hair really luscious I use shampoo conditioner and I also use coconut oil on his hair to make it shiny I do have to blow dry it because um, he has a lot of hair so it doesn't really dry on its own sometimes my hair is not even done <laughs> but I make sure my dog's hair is done for his nighttime routine I do brush his teeth and then after a long day I just wipe his paws and then I put lotion it makes it really soft I take off the carriages and then I just massage his head. You know like when girls like take off their hair and it just feels so good to massage <laughs> it? I think he feels the same. Look at that messy hair. <laughs> I just tuck him in and then he stays there for the whole night. <laughs> A few people are like, why do you take so long? Or like, you must not have kids if you're doing all this to your dog, you know? But I just, I always told myself that if I was going to have a pet, I was always going to treat it like, like my baby, you know, because they don't get to live a long time. So why not spend these quality moments together?